not the way you want your truck to start. I'll tell you why. The batteries are getting old. The batteries are tired. Usually the heat from summer is what kills them. It usually evaporates the water out of them or, or it just, for whatever reason, heat really takes its toll on batteries. The batteries are not as much of the issue here as the starter. You're going to destroy the starter because you're forcing the starter to, to fight against a motor with just very low amperage coming out of the batteries and it will destroy the starter. Now this is the way you want your truck to start. Okay. Here's the thing. The old batteries, if you push them and oh, it'll just start every time, just barely. Okay, what happens is you end up destroying the starter. So now you gotta end up buying batteries and a starter, and you may be burning up a starter solenoid too. What happens is, is that you're sending lots of amperage with low voltage into the starter and you burn up the armature. Let me show you a couple tips on starter replacement so that your truck can start like this. Woo! Ready to go right there, boy. <laughs> Over the years, I've used just about every kind of battery imaginable in these trucks. And you know, the interstate just seems to hold up the best. And I'm here to tell you, man, I don't own stock in interstate. I'm not a, a, a distributor for interstate. But you know what? I will talk about what truly works. See, the thing you got to remember about these two batteries up here and why they have to be healthy is that not only do they have to crank this great big engine on a cold day, but they have to actuate the glow, glow plugs. The glow plugs are like a dead short, right, straight to the battery and just sucks all kinds of current out of them. And you've just, in my opinion, you got to have the best batteries that money can buy because you know what, these things will leave you hanging at a time when you need it the least. Having the battery terminals clean and doing the things in the no crank, uh, uh, having the battery terminals clean and doing the things and checking things out in the no crank uh, uh, module there. Having the battery terminals clean and checking out those things in the no crank section like the alternator and the starter solenoid and all these sorts of things have an uh, impact also. But the fact is, is that you've got to start with a good base here and the best base i found is interstate batteries. They're not cheap. You're going to pay about 20% more for them, but you know what? They're worth every dime because standard batteries only last about two, maybe three years. and interstate, I've gotten up to five. Another alternative to the interstate is what's called the Optima Spiral Core, and these are incredibly outstanding batteries. I mean, I've used these in my boats, I've used them in my cars, trucks, all sorts of things, and uh, they're unparalleled in terms of their reliability and power. I mean, I literally had one that I took out of a wrecked ambulance and had in my boat for five years and never unhooked it, cleaned the terminals a few times, and it always cranked. So... You know, the Optima batteries are outstanding, but you're going to pay for these. These are $150, $160 batteries, and, you know, you get what you pay for, but at the same time, that's a lot of money. Okay, the starter is the other thing, of course, that helps make the truck start. And if you do burn up a starter in your old 7.3, I suggest you change to the later model starter. The gear reduction starter uh, will spin the engine a little faster than the old style starter. Let me show you what they look like over here on the table. Now the starter on the right is very similar to the late model 7.3 starter. This is actually for a 6.0, but the design is almost identical. The older style 7.3 starter is a direct drive starter, and they work good. There's no problem with them. You know, there's no problem with the old direct drive starters, but they spin at a lower RPM. The gear reduction starter actually spins a good bit faster, and because you're cranking it faster, the high pressure oil pump and the compression builds quicker and so it cranks right over real quick, nice and sharp and fast. That's one of the keys that I found to getting these trucks to start. So when it comes time to replace a starter, it's cheap enough, maybe 40 bucks more, 30 bucks more to buy a brand new gear reduction starter, not a rebuild. One of the problems that we're finding with the rebuilds these days, even from our more reliable uh, suppliers, is that the, the types of parts that they're putting into these starters are substandard in order to be competitive by price. Look, let me tell you something. So you save 10, 15 bucks on the starter, but the tow truck bill is going to be 250. You tell me where the bargain is. There's all sorts of these gear reduction starters available on eBay. Uh, I can't sell them any cheaper than they can, so I encourage you to look for the gear reduction starter on eBay. When it comes time to replace it, 
put a couple good batteries and a good uh, gear reduction starter in there and she'll crank right over every time for you.